Well, I was born in Liverpool during the war, and then we came to live in Ballymena. My mum took very ill and died of cancer. So athletics became an escape. I went across at 16 to the British Championships and came home with a silver medal. So that's when people started saying maybe I had some talent. Uh, Tokyo was an interesting city and very beautiful. But Irina Press won the pentathlon. Mary was second, a girl called Bistrova was third and I was fourth. But by beating Bistrova in the 200 meters, it meant that Mary won the silver medal. So I was very happy with my lot. Mm. The difference was that they hung, uh, they hammered a nail into the bedroom wall so they'd have somewhere to hang their medals. I didn't. I didn't think I was going to win one. I finished ninth in the uh, Mexico Games. I did have a slight injury, which I, I got when I was out there, but that wasn't an excuse. I just don't think I was committed as, as I should have been at that stage of my career. I knew that I was going to be up against it, but I really believed that I was fitter and, and better prepared than I'd ever been before, both mentally and physically. When I put the shot, I used to yell because it, gave me you know a feeling of putting more effort into it and of course people would watch what what's going on here so people started giving me support at that stage and I put the shot uh, further than I had in a pentathlon but usually you would have gone from one event to the other but because of the program that they had devised I had to wait for the high jump that night and it's hard to keep the adrenaline flowing if you have a rest. But there was one other athlete in the stadium, Wolfgang Nordvik, who was pole vaulting at the other end. And he would clear a height and then I would clear a height and so on. And it was the first time in my whole athletic career that I'd had a real audience, you know, and I performed for them. And I warmed up well and uh, went and did my long jump. It was a weak event. I, I really wanted to jump. 20 feet, which was about six meters. I jumped 595, which was just short of what I had hoped for. And you know, I was 33 and I was emotionally probably wrung out after doing the other four events and then hanging around in between. I went to my room and the girlfriend um, who was in the room opposite came over and she said, it was great, you're doing so well. And, he, and I started to cry and she said, why are you crying? She said, you've got a medal. I said, I know, but I only want the gold. When we walked round the edge of the track to get to where the starting blocks were, I could hear these voices in the crowd, and it's, it's very nice to know there's somebody there supporting you. And I ran faster than I'd ever done before, and won by 10 points <laughs> out of 4,800. And I only knew when Heidi started walking towards me with her hand outstretched that I'd actually won. But we waited for quite a time before we were taken out to the rostrum. And the proudest thing that could ever happen to you is standing there as your national anthem's being played. Mm. It was amazing. Mm. And it changed my life from that moment on. 